What's going on guys, DJ has here and I'm bringing you guys, this is my fourth part of the no power of Call of the Dead gameplay and basically in this uh, gameplay I have gone through um, and I'm only on round 14 unfortunately. I did go, I think I got to like 23 um, but unfortunately I lost the rest of the flipping video. Um, but basically I played this through and, and I did not turn on the powers box which inherently would not let you get perks. However, uh, I am able to get the perks because um, if you kill Romero... He drops a perk and he drops the Wonder Waff that you saw me have in the in the beginning of this game. And the Wonder Waff uh, is unlocked only if you do the tutorial um, that uh, that I have on my channel. That's one of my bigger videos actually. It has over 700,000 views. But um, but basically you do that and he gives you the Wonder Waff instead of a Death Machine, which is way better because uh, it's a, it's just a dope gun. But unfortunately if you hit George with the Wonder Waff, it, it pisses him off and then you have to go in the water. And it's just a real pain in the backside. But... Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about uh, like tips for dieting and weight loss and stuff like that because um, it's something that's that I've been working on the last couple weeks and uh, you know I've, I've been pretty uh, I've been successful up and down whenever whenever I put my mind to to it and actually um, want to lose weight and it's uh, it's one of those things that like you have to be motivated and it's hard to get to that point where you where you're motivated and you actually want to go to the gym and, and work out and uh, you know just improve your uh, your overall like look and, and feel more more importantly is like you feel healthier um, if you if you're working out but basically uh, I wanted to give you guys a couple more tips uh, on that the first video uh, it seemed to go pretty well you guys uh, were really really supportive which was cool really appreciate that and you know wishing me good luck and all that stuff um, which was awesome and hopefully it's inspired some of the other guys out there to uh, you know, put down the controller for a minute and go work out for a quick 20, 30 minutes and, and then get back to it. And honestly, by doing that, you actually, I think you, you actually game better because you uh, are more focused. It's just kind of a funny thing how that works. Um, and it's ironic, when you work out, you actually don't feel tired uh, after you, you, know, you work out for a week or two. You don't feel as tired, it actually is, it gives you more energy. Um, so it's, it's a good feeling, and so to date uh, of me recording this video, it's about two and a half weeks after I started my, my dieting, and I'm, I'm down from 218, two, well, 217, 218 to uh, 211, which is great. I'm making some slow progress, but I'm making progress, and uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm not shedding off the weight like super quick, and, um, but, but really, I mean, a couple pounds a, a week or, or whatever it might add up to be is, is excellent for me, and, uh, and as long as I keep keep uh, the diet and exercise up hopefully the weight will keep coming off and my goal weight is a uh, hundred and ninety so um, throwing out all my weight for you guys and everything you guys get to know all, all the intimate details of how much I weigh uh, but you know it's just one of those things that it was time and you know despite negative comments on the videos people call me fat or whatever regardless of that you know I knew I knew that I was that I was gaining weight and uh, that it was time to to go ahead and start working out again and the other thing is, um, you, you know, you put on comfort weight when you 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 get married, and then you, uh, it's not really fair to the other person though, because my wife is in great shape. But uh, so so yeah, I, I was like, I gotta I gotta do this for not just myself, but for her, and and uh, you know, for when we have children and stuff as well, because I want to be healthy. I don't want to get diabetes or something like that from eating too many burgers. But getting back into the tip part of it, so some of the tips that I have for for weight loss. I kind of already been over those in the previous video. I'll, I'll link them in the description. Um, but so I'm not going to recap all ten tips. But basically, the main two um, are obviously very prominent. And it's just working out and uh, and exercising and, and eating straight. And if they go hand in hand. If you exercise every single day, and, and these again are tips for weight loss. If you guys, a lot of you guys also commented and said, you know, I'm 100 pounds or I'm 40, 45 pounds or whatever. I can't. I can eat like. Uh, a horse and still not gain any weight. Um, yeah, this isn't for you guys because I I can understand though where you guys are coming from because it's 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 probably even more difficult for somebody that's really ultra skinny to gain weight than it is for somebody that's really heavy to to lose weight. And uh, and I recognize that my brother is actually um, very skinny. He's like 110 pounds or something like that. He's just a really skinny guy. He can't gain weight. I mean, he can eat two boxes of Chinese food and and he can't gain any weight. Like it's ridiculous. Um, but for me, on the other hand, you know, you, you have the same, it's, I mean, it's all about metabolism and stuff like that. I'm not really sure, uh, how it works out like that, but anyway, so, uh, let's jump into the, the, 
the meal plans a little bit that that I can recommend. So one one of the things that I mentioned previously is the way that food is labeled nowadays is outrageous. The the way that they market everything, like pop tarts. If you guys are not in the U.S. and if you don't know what pop tarts are, they're basically a like a pastry, but um they're like a fast food pastry. I mean it's just really one of those things that's boxed in, in the supermarkets and and uh, and it's one of those things that kids love to eat. They're sweet. They're fruit flavored and you know they're they're just I like them. I mean I used to love those as a kid. I still do. But um, the thing is they market those and, and now they're like fortified with vitamins. So now they're healthy for you because they have vitamins in it and all this shit. And all these sugary cereals that are out there, you know, Captain Crunch or whatever it might be, they're promoting themselves as a cereal that's healthy because it has again fortified vitamins, which basically means there's no natural vitamins in it. They're just adding shit to the uh, to the ingredients to the the vitamins to the ingredients to make it so it's like so they're good for you or some shit but it's not the way it works like um i, I don't even know like how to describe that but my tips for uh food wise let's go over my daily my daily meal so um so you guys can get an idea and i'll give you some 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 like pluses and minuses of things you can eat so the first thing that i would eat for breakfast is oatmeal um oatmeal is and and if you get those Quaker oat packets that have basically it's little packets that have uh, tons of sugar in them and there's I mean there's certain ones that have tons of sugar I get the low su the low sugar like um, I think maple and brown sugar flavored but they're but it's low sugar comparison or I'll get no sugar and and then just um, and then just add some stevia or some sugar substitute to it instead of actual sugar because sugar is one of those things that um, if something says it's fat free it doesn't mean it's sugar free. Um, like gummy bears is a prime example. They're they're like oh 100. It's fat free gummy bears. Gummy bears are fat free, but they're loaded in sugar. All it is is sugar. So the fact of of the matter is, if sugar turns to fat, if you don't exercise, you don't work out, sugar will turn to fat, and, uh, and that's what you don't want. So it's just trickery, like really. Um, back to my point though. So oatmeal, low sugar, and then I, I'll have it with a banana. Sometimes I'll just throw the banana in it. Um, fresh fruits always a big plus. And then um, I'll drink what, either water or I I drink I don't drink regular milk I usually drink almond milk um, but I, I do the lower calorie almond milk or soy milk or whatever it might be but you gotta also read the calories some of them the light soy milk is better for you obviously than the regular because the regular has tons and tons of sugar um, and you wouldn't think like you wouldn't think regular milk has sugar in it but regular milk has I, I don't wanna I, I'm gonna guess but at least 10, 10 grams of sugar in it that's a lot of sugar. For milk so little things like that cutting out um, 10 grams of sugar is huge soda don't even get me started on soda pop um, a 20 ounce thing of soda pop w probably runs you 60 grams of sugar and if you picture yourself drinking three of those a week five of those a week add that up into a month add that in, into a year and then that's how much extra sugar your body's taking in that it doesn't need um, the other thing uh, is American portion sizes are out of control um, if you go to, uh, my wife was telling me about this, and if you go to a like a uh, McDonald's in my, I don't even know where, maybe it was China or somewhere else, like a a value meal, like a a medium is in a, in America is like a large or no, I think it's a small. A small in America is like a large in in like China or something like that. Like if you if you consider that, the amount of food like it's it's just crazy. Like super duper quadruple size is way too big. Um, way more than one person needs to eat and way way more calories than one person should be able to, to handle and uh, right there I ended up getting that thought I was gonna die right here but but it's a bit it's a it's a big problem um, anyway back to, back to the meal plan so I'll try to stay focused here so breakfast oatmeal low sugar uh, water skim milk, skim milk no orange juice absolutely no orange juice grapefruit juice uh, apple juice, all that shit is just absolutely loaded in sugar. And again, this is if you're trying to lose weight, not a good way to go. Uh, and then, and I just about die here again. It's pretty wild right here. Um, and then the banana, and that's pretty much breakfast. Then maybe three hours later, I'll, I'll have uh, a snack, and that snack will probably just be like an ounce of beef jerky. Monitor the amount of beef jerky you're taking. And beef jerky is actually really good for you. It's really high protein, and um, you know, depending on the type you get, it might have a little bit of sugars in it. But all in all, it's great for you. The only downside, it has a lot of sodium. And that's something that um, people try to do if it's uh, fat-free or if it's sugar-free. They'll add tons of sodium to compensate for, for the sugar. 
Uh, so you just got to kind of read the labels again. It's just one of my key tips. But but proportions are absolutely essential. Then um, for lunch, so beef jerky for a snack. Then for lunch, I do a half turkey sandwich, one piece of bread instead of two. Double the meat or, or have the same amount of meat because the meat is actually not bad if you do lunch meat. Um, I mean, it's not it's not usually that bad for you in comparison uh, to, you know, other things. But so the lunch meat and then I do, do no cheese. Cheese is actually one of those things that are really bad, loaded in fat. Um, not very good for you at all. And then you have no mayonnaise on the sandwich. So basically it's just one half, half of a, like a wheat bread with uh, turkey meat and then mustard is usually the way I would do a half sandwich. Um, and no cheese and no mayonnaise, absolutely no mayonnaise or cheese because it's just bad for you and both of them are really high in fats. Um, then I would have carrots and like baby carrots and uh, an apple and that would be kind of like my french fries and apple pie from, from uh, McDonald's. And then, uh, and then I would have water or a diet soda. Now, diet soda is one of those things where it's hit or miss. Some people really are like, no, diet soda is bad for you. Um, other people are like, you know, diet soda is better than the regular thing. And I'm kind of in between. I think it's moderation is always the key. And uh, if you have a diet soda twice a day, it's probably not good for you. If you have one here and there, um, a couple of every other day or something like that, uh, diet soda is probably fine. But it's definitely better than a regular soda because of all the sugar that's involved. Uh, after lunch, you'd have a snack maybe two and a half, three hours later, and I would recommend something like almonds. Almonds um, are, the nuts are like really good for you, <laughs> go figure, the nuts. Um, they're actually good for you, but but portion control, only eat eight to ten of them, and you don't need more than that, just a, a small handful. And, uh, you know, sometimes back in the day, you could you could sit there and eat a whole jar of almonds, and it's just, they're, they're high in fat, but it's, they're like good fat, and... Um, yeah, it's just you you don't don't want to eat a whole bunch. Then for dinner, you're looking at a chicken breast, uh, obviously not fried in oil or anything like that. Grilled is always good. You can use olive oil to cook it. Use a little bit, um, and then broccoli, no butter, obviously no butter, no cheese or anything fun. Um, I usually just do pepper and maybe a dash of salt, but I, I don't really like salt that much. Um, and then uh, rice, just a small handful portion or less, and then that or or a, a yam and yams are actually really good for you um, so I always do yams and I like them so always helps and again no butter or anything like that so that's pretty much my daily like meal and you you, you got to start looking at meals like uh, like basically that it's it's not a it's not an enjoyment to eat it's you're eating for your, your body's sake and uh, for the necessity of eating it and I realized at this point I did turn on the power so I know I said it's a no power gameplay but at the end of this, I ended up turning on the power, unfortunately, because uh, I was, I, I had no ammo and I needed to figure some shit out. I don't know, but uh, but anyway, that's that's kind of my my typical typical day for for meals, and hopefully you guys find that helpful. I, I recommend trying it. I mean, it seems kind of boring and, and mundane, but um, again, the big trick is is to have that one cheat day a week. And for me, me and me and the wife could eat whatever we want, and uh, it's it's actually pretty nice to be able to just eat whatever you need on the weekend just again mind the portion size and uh, again it is only one day it's not the whole entire weekend so we just choose a Saturday or a Friday night or a Sunday or whatever it is but just one day and uh, just and you know sometimes we'll go out and we'll get like the other week when we got some Hawaiian food and uh, we ended up splitting it and just buying one portion that's the other thing uh, for for dinner times instead of eating like chicken breasts and all those other things sometimes we'll just go and uh, go to um, like Chipotle or uh, Codoba, which are like some Mexican kind of places, and we'll get a chicken burrito with rice and beans and salsa, no cheese, no sour cream, no guacamole, no other weird sauces or anything that are fun, um, and just eat it like that, and, and we'll get double chicken, and we'll get one burrito, and we'll split it, instead of eating the whole entire burrito myself, um, we would just split it, and uh, I, mean, I mean, those things are just kind of fun and smart to be able to do. And I can't believe I'm out of, I have all four perks now that I needed and I'm, I'm out of ammo. This, this gameplay sucked. Um, but anyway, um, hopefully you guys are finding these, these things helpful. And, you know, I'm, I'm just sharing this with you guys because it's just something that I'm kind of into right now and I'm passionate about. I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to lose weight. And again, I get to go to Vegas here if I get down to my goal, my goal weight. So, uh, which is, is 190. So, um pretty stoked about that. I think I'll be able to, to shape up and, and be in, at that point um, by summertime, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to take some dedication still. And, and um, you know, I'm, my head's at, in it and I'm ready to, and uh, dedicated to make it happen. So 
Um, I think uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, or leave you know leave comments, I always appreciate that. Um, and uh, this video is coming to an end. I did get all my perks, and I decided to pack a punch because I had tons of money, and I was at the point where I was like, I need to. I'm gonna die if I don't pack a punch, and I needed a, a gun and all this other jazz. So. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is where the, the gameplay ends because I lost the rest of my files, but I did, I think I got to 22 or 24 or something like that. Um, I still haven't rehashed and played some more Call of the Dead since they put the other perk in the game, and I, something I need to go back and do because I definitely really enjoyed uh, playing this map. Um, have a good one, guys, and uh, check back for more content. If you guys like more zombie videos, uh, give this a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Just tell me zombies, and I'll, and I'll uh, post uh, some more zombie gameplay. Thanks.